This is my TX200. Um, now I've experimented a lot with this gun. Um, it's got the Matt Windsor moderator on it. It's the Hunter Carbine model. It's got a very nice CS stock on it. It's got a 10mm extended latch rod in it. It's had in the past it's had a short stroke nose extension. I've tried all sorts of things with this gun uh, to make it shoot how I want it to shoot. It's very, very accurate. And it's the best it's ever been. These are great guns. The, um, the build quality of them is superb. It doesn't shoot anywhere near as nicely. Now this is the uh, HW97 with their hybrid piston. I would very much like the TX to be as good as this. The mission is, is to get this TX200 which is a lovely lovely gun shoot to get the shot cycle as nice as that uh, hybrid piston 97 okay so the plan is a little bit more radical approach to the internals so let's get started okay so I've taken the stock off We've got our trigger guard and Allen bolts all nice and safe. The plan is, this is going to come apart, this is all stuck at the minute apart from the 10mm longer latch rod. I'm going to take this apart, um, the internals, we're going to go a bit more radical than what I've previously done to this gun. I'm going to send it to Tony Leach and uh, we're going to have it sleeved down to 22mm and we're going to have a skirtless piston. Now then this is very interesting because apparently with this sleeving down and the skirtless piston you can use a much softer spring and I'm quite looking for going to look forward to uh, just feeling the shot cycle um, of this when it's done. So I'll just take this apart and then you'll see um, the parts that are going to end up going to Tony. Right, I've, uh, I've undone this bolt uh, holding the trigger block in place most of the way. I'm now pressing down to take, take the preload up. Just take this out all the way. And you can see now, see all that? That's all preload. What is it there? 30 or so mil, maybe a little more. Um, with its current setup. So let's just take this apart. And we have got a spring power washers, guide, etc, etc. I'll attach the uh, trigger block like so. And now it's time to take apart uh, the rest of the gun. Okay. Okay, so the gun's now apart. As you can see, taking off the cocking lever and cocking shoe uh, via the little um, pivot pin and uh, circlip. Then I've taken out the compression tube. Uh, nothing exceptional about that. And I've split the latch rod from the, pist from the uh, piston and obviously the piston seal. Now that latch rod is a bit of a custom unit. It's 10 millimeters uh, longer than standard. So that's going to need to be uh, cut down to standard size. And these two parts here are the ones that are going to be sent off to Tony Leach. So he can sleeve this and take it down to 22mm and make a skirtless piston head o-ring sealed for this that fits into the 22mm bore. Um, the idea being that you don't need the sheer size of that power plant to make your 12 foot pound or 11 foot pound which is my preferred power you don't need that size, you don't need that bore, you can do it with something smaller which means you've got less weight moving around 
which hopefully means a lot less recoil, less sight picture movement, etc. etc. It's a different approach, it's one I've never tried before with any of my other guns. It's going to be really, really interesting to see how it works. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks and uh, I've just received this from uh, Tony Leach, which is uh, my uh, new parts. So let's open it up and take a look. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm opening it up on camera so you get to see exactly what I get to see. Okay, I've got a couple of little pots of lube, power washers and o-rings. <clears throat> and here we go. There you can see we've got a super tiny piston. Look at that. It's all lubed up, uh, sleeved, very nicely done. Yeah, that looks the business, the business. And as you can see from the hands, it's already lubed up and uh, ready to go. I'm tempted to just stick that in, no further lubrication, stick it together and just see how it performs. So, let's give that a try. Okay, so I've put in Tony's tiny little 22mm skateless piston, spring, guide, what have you, uh, reattached the underlever, and so now it's trigger block time. Um, we get to see preload at levels and quite simply <laughs> there's not very much just a little tiny push so let's uh, have a look at this that is ridiculously easy to do so there we go <clears throat> back together again um, really looking forward to shooting this gun again. Um, see what a kind of transformation we've got in the shot cycle. Uh, okay, the gun's rebuilt, full um, 22 millimeter um, skirtless piston, Tony Leach conversion. Um, first shot, easy to cock. Uh, hold it in my hand so I can feel the recoil. Sight picture, there is no movement whatsoever. It's really lovely. There's a little push, but it's nothing. It's, the, it's definitely the nicest this gun's ever shot. Yeah. That's a huge improvement. Um, I'll have to chrono it, see what it's producing. But it is superb. I'll do a little bit of video of a few sideways on shots. Sideways on shot so you can use the recoil. Very tiny nudge. Hybrid piston, no 
27. Really fast. Much more cock cocking effort. One last test, I think. I'll do a couple of suspended shots so we can compare the movement. Okay, now I know this is an HW97 and I'm not comparing like for like, but as far as shock cycles concerned of my guns, this one's top dog. So it's going to be interesting to compare this to the uh, TX200 with the 22 millimeter skirtless piston kit in it. So, there's one. We'll just do another, another one, I think. Still. So, there you go. That's the ninety seven. Okay, different gun, different weight, everything. Um, but we should be able to at least see and compare the shot cycle of a uh, Tony Leach 22mm skirtless piston gun. <coughs> as I say, there's not an awful lot of movement. But as I say, it's only doing 10.5 foot pound. We're using slightly different pellets, Diablo fields, but It's the shot cycle we're after. Stop swinging. Well, there you go. Two guns compared. <laughs>